Hey you, it's me. Let's take a look at this week, your love life. What will happen this week? It's a brand new week, Halloween week. All right, I went ahead and did something pretty festive for you guys. Can you see? Ah, uh, yeah. I'm not a big Halloween person, but I know a lot of you guys are. And I had these pretty trees from outside my house and it kind of looks spooky and cool. And so... I thought I'd do it for you. So let's jump right into this video. Let's use our Gypsy Witch fortune telling deck, okay, to get some messages for you. It's very festive, isn't it? A little orange. And even the drink that I'm drinking, you guys, is really festive today. It's like a blood orange drink and it looks very orange Halloween theme. So take a second. Use your intuition to pick a card. And if you don't really feel like picking a card, you can just sit back, relax, and listen to the entire video and hear what messages resonate for you naturally. But take a second now to see which heart is calling to you. And we're going to shuffle right on camera, see what cards come out from the Gypsy Witch fortune telling deck, some tarot cards, some oracles. Let's see what's going to happen in your love life this week. Timestamps below. I love you. Hello, honey. If you picked the first card, this first heart, let's go ahead and take a look right away at what the self love message is on the back of this card for you. Oh, it is ritual honoring cycles, root chakra, and this is a number four card. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at how that might work into your reading, what the synchronicities are, and what's going to happen with your love life this week. All right, we already got a flipper, a number six card here. Wow, talk about roots. We see lion energy. Okay, so, all right, let's see. Let's get a couple more, and then we're going to tell you what's going to happen. <clears throat> Oh, you guys, <laughs> this is beautiful. All right, what's at the bottom of the deck? We get here a number three energy. We get some sort of um money prediction coming out for some of you. Money being really good for you this week. Something really nice popping off when it comes to your sense of stability and groundedness within yourself. I feel like you guys are doing really well and feeling very grounded. And you've been practicing your rituals. You've been you know really working on yourself and maybe you recently got a new job or there's something about this reading so far that's screaming like strength energy screaming somebody who like has money who's saving who's just been doing all the right things for themselves and i feel like you guys you're about to get a surprise of a new love and this week okay there's some kind of sud sudden shock that's, that's happening here, and I feel like it has to do all about with new love. Some of you may be meeting somebody at a park, okay? You may be taking your kids to a park or um, a, a zoo, even to a zoo. <laughs> I don't know if that's for you. That's a very specific message. You're absolutely going to be meeting new love very, very soon. All right. I also get this energy of lots of messages, synchronicities. Some of you may be uh, singers, right? And you've been receiving, you may receive, have received some sort of message, you know, some kind of synchronicity attached to that as well. But I get a sense here, some of you are going to be connecting with someone or you are, may already be speaking to the someone, person who lives a little bit further away from you, or you may be taking a drive or a trip somewhere different, somewhere new, and you're meeting someone there. This is really, really, really pretty. Okay. Another little message that's coming out here is I have a feeling this week, some of you guys are honoring a cycle, ending a cycle, right? You've seen the end of of a specific cycle with somebody and you realize now that this person is not your person. Wow, look at that. You get romance flipping right out. Y'all saw how fast that flipped? Did you see that? Mm hmm. There we go romance flipped right out for you let's see what else comes out from my love deck 
for this group what else for this group is gonna happen this week oh my gosh are you getting married this week some of you just may be <laughs> but obviously this is a fortune telling reading right so this is a future prediction some of you like i said are meeting new love and what did i say about money you have a little money aspect to your week as well coming up for you Ooh, this is so in sync i'm shooketh <laughs> you have a money situation popping off uh as well maybe you really focused on your money or something's going on as far as your love life and your money take that how it resonates but i have a feeling here a lot of you guys are meeting and starting a new romantic cycle if you'd recently ended a romantic cycle you did a you did them a right thing it was like the end of this cycle you're regrounding regrouping and new love is absolutely ahead look what's looking at me at the bottom of the deck surprise both of these cards say um all of a sudden surprise it's a shock it's new it's unexpected how you're running into this person this message you're receiving perhaps this week really cute all right let's get an oracle for you what else would you like them to know? Their love life this week. Really nice and straight to the point you're reading, you guys. I love it. What else? Their love life this week. Okay. What's the card? Present power. Look at this. The synchronicities. You get lion twice, an image of a lion two times in your reading. Some of you are Leo, Leo rising, maybe even connecting with a Leo, or you're quite literally, you have that vibrant Leo spark, that energy, you're in the spotlight, you're, you're practicing something and you're in your present power remember i said there's something here about your root chakra about you like just feeling good think the strength card in the tarot we have a number two here number four that could be a synchronicity for you number six there's present power right now for manifestation, for love. You're standing in your power. You know who you are. You are deciding something. You're beginning something. This is really beautiful. And do I have any other cards for you? Let's get an angel whisper. What's the last message here for this group? This is going to be a very beautiful week in love for you. Whether everything unfolds this week, which it usually doesn't, time doesn't work that way or not, this is a message you were absolutely meant to hear. And your card is, you are a true being of the universe. Your beauty radiates from within. Exactly. So pretty. Yay. All right, let's take a look at the other groups. For those of you that don't know, I do have a second channel. I link it below where I do the daily energy reading. So follow me over there if you're waking up wake up with me end your day with me figure out what the day is like ahead of time guidance advice motivation all that stuff i'll see you soon if you picked the second heart card here let's take a look at your week ahead your love life now this card says "Ooh, celebrate life solar plexus energy it's a ritual card and you get the number 12, one and two, number three. So this is all about fun, creativity, that solar plexus uh, energy to do, to take action, to celebrate. Oh, so some kind of celebrations popping off for you this week. All right. Regarding love, you're celebrating something with the partner, with the new person, celebrating, releasing something. Let's find out what it is. Let's get your fortune telling cards all right what's going on for you this week in your love life okay another number three all right three three is definitely a synchronicity for you oh a lot of you may have a cancer pisces scorpio a water sign energy in your life bottom of the deck i'm already drawn to this ring card okay Rich and happy marriage is being foretold in your future for this week. There's someone here involved, all right, a King of Cups person involved this week. Someone you are speaking to, communicating with. This could even be a friendship, all right, but with this ring energy showing up next to this masculine here, some of you, you may be the Cancer Pisces Scorpio that is thinking or has their eye out looking for a, a potential uh, partner and I see this energy here of like jumping the broom a lot of you guys are, are into like jumping the broom 
you grew up with that particular culture. I didn't. I had to learn about it after uh, because I grew up in Nigeria. A lot of you guys don't know that. But jumping the broom, I think it's just so cool. It's um, an African-American tradition. Some of you may be doing that quite literally. That's the first thing I think of here. There's something about a, an agreement, a union happening this week. And a lot of you, there's friendships, like friendships around you. There's people around you this week in your love life. So look, this is screaming engagement party. <laughs> this is maybe a future prediction for some of you. Of course, not everything happens in the span of one week, but there's something about this week that the wheels are turning in this celebratory way. Somebody's looking at you. You're looking at somebody in this way of like, oh, that's my person. You're whispering to your friends. You're talking to your friends about it. Um, there's great interest being taken by somebody regarding you. If there's one thing you take out of this reading, take that. Somebody is looking at you. My masculines, you may be the one here, this King of Cups energy, looking at someone else. Okay. Oh, all right. Let's just jump into your love cards. Let's see. So we're shaking hands. We're agreeing. We're connecting. Okay. It's, this is kind of screaming to me. Um, some of you may have been fighting with someone in the past it could even been be family or friends but this is a love reading you may have been at odds with somebody in the past i feel like you guys are are coming to some kind of a resolve this week okay let's see what your cards are see interesting so you get the rejected card quality time okay let's see what the last card is for you so interesting, it's kind of like maybe you felt rejected, there was a miscommunication here, but you're spending quality time maybe with your friends instead, that kind of thing. You're getting three cards wanting to fall out together here. Short-term lessons learned, distance. Ooh. Ooh. So here's what's going on. Recently, you may have felt rejected by somebody. You were connected in a very short-term situation. This person was at a distance from you, maybe because they were married or they were com connected somewhere else they just weren't fully committed to you and you learned some major lessons and i feel like you're celebrating something you're spending quality time maybe with a new person lots of messages here for you guys let's see what your oracle oh, oh, all right look at that great ga gratitude a number four card you have four four twice here and three three giving thanks this week great gratitude for something this is like energy of rejection is god's protection okay you're celebrating <laughs> this is screaming to me group number two you may have felt rejected by somebody and then you meet someone new and you're just like oh my gosh i had no idea that like why did i even want what i wanted this is so much better beautiful all right let's see what your angel message is babe what's your angel message for this week okay this one do not be afraid to follow your dreams and this one kind of wanted to speak to you life is what you make of it be brave and reach for the stars so some of you you're being asked to be brave follow your dreams if you need to reject somebody else if you need to close the door on something in order to open up yourself up to something new you're going to be celebrating something this week so don't be afraid be brave believe in what you want beautiful i'll see you guys later for those that don't know link in the description box to my daily uh my second channel for my daily energy readings over there okay bye if you picked the third card let's take a look at your messages first one coming out is flow with life you're being told to flow with life. Go with the flow this week regarding love. And number six card, sacral chakra. All right, let's see what your fortune telling cards want to say. What does this week hold for you in love? What will happen? All right. A number seven card here. Ooh, an intense love, a strong feeling for somebody coming in hot this week. All right, you're celebrating here. We got wine flowing. We got a queen of wands energy. So you're really going with the flow, flowing with life. We have a queen of wands energy here, a knight of swords energy. So something is coming in hot. 
you've got your eye on somebody okay this is like it's just a little crush not like i think every time we touch <laughs> that's you look how she's looking at him and he's like what you talking to me you may have your eye on a leo here uh or, or a um even a, an aries or sagittarius whatever it is you're gonna be really cheerful this week connecting with yeah love is in the air for you this week your your, your head is all in that direction and it's good if you've been feeling that that push feeling like why am i so like feeling sexy, feeling like wanting to date, wanting to talk, wanting to flirt. I've got boys or girls on the brain. It's because there's someone your guys are trying to fix you up with, basically. There's going to be a lot of good luck and abundance when it comes to love here for you, okay? Um, and also money, money messages coming out for you. This is like, you have a lot of money to spend, so maybe you're you're going out and, and spending it on like a big dinner or a big plan or like you're even thinking of planning something where you have the money to spend to make it really nice for yourself. Wow, you get the long-term card, hidden feelings, see? It's just a little crush, not like I faint every time we touch. You guys, this week somebody has secret feelings for somebody and you're thinking long term somebody is focused on you remember i said look how she's looking at him fixated all right whether you're the one with the crush or someone has a crush on you and you don't know it they're thinking long term they want you something's going on keep your eyes peeled <laughs> <laughs> what a mess this is like a movie you guys have to comment below what's resonating for you let's get your all right that flew out quickly let's get your oracle card behind a mask look at this you get hidden feelings someone's hiding their intention behind a mask oh my god look at this at the bottom of the deck hidden motivations is this a joke <laughs> who is this person are you hiding your feelings you know what we got two months left out of 2020 you better speak up there's nothing to lose all right somebody here needs to speak up and act okay your loved ones are guiding you from above oh that's a beautiful message what else for you that's what one last one family is everything always make sure you acknowledge this some of you are getting together with your family or some of you have been thinking a lot about a family a loved one that passed away all right and maybe you're hiding feelings uh, for someone or you don't want to move on to long term because you're focused on someone this is saying look they're there with you no one ever leaves you okay this is beautiful you guys all right well those are your messages honey check out my second channel for the daily energy readings now for those of you guys that watch the video to the end i'm about to bless you because you're special you made it all the way to the end of the video let's go ahead and use the pendulum okay we're going to use the pendulum and ask to help answer a question for you, okay? So go ahead and think of a question. Pause the video if you need to, and I'm gonna swing the pendulum when I'm ready. Connecting with you, listening to you. Let's see what the answer is for that question. It always takes a second, eh? Let me sip my drink, okay. What is the answer? <laughs> the anticipation. Oh, oh did you guys see that it was going back and forth from try uh try again and no interesting so it was like going back and forth maybe you've been trying for this to happen or something like that so you get the no answer and no is not always a bad answer to get sometimes you want to get a no to your question right so you get no 
Interesting. All right, you guys, I love you so much. Thank you for joining me. Have an amazing week. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. I'll see you for my live chats every Wednesday and Sunday where I do live instant personal readings for you guys on the live stream. We have fun over there. I'll see you on Instagram also. Bye.